On this channel we see microcontrollers pretty much all the time. I almost always use the Atmel AVR microcontrollers and to be more specific the Atmega 328 chip, which is the microcontroller used by the Arduino Uno, Nano and the Pro Mini boards and also other replica boards. I received a lot of comments on how to use the Atmega 8 instead of the Atmega 328, so I bought 10 of these microcontrollers and start working with them. In this video, we will see how to prepare this IC with the basic configuration, how to burn the correct bootloader to it and upload codes using the Arduino IDE, but before, make sure to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell in order to see future videos. So guys, let's get that Mega 8 chip and let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. Since a lot of you guys asked me to try using other ICs than the typical Atmega 328 of the Arduino, I've already started the FPGA series which I hope that you like and also bought some PIC microcontrollers, the PIC Kit 2 programmer, the ESP32, the Atmega 16, an USB ASP programmer, the Atmega 8 and also some 80 tinies 85 so I will make a few basic videos and show you how to start with these microcontrollers. But today, I will show you how to use the Atmega 8 with the Arduino IDE, just as you will do with an Arduino Uno chip. But first, this project is sponsored by GLC PCB, which is the PCB manufacturer that I use for my boards. Remember, if you are planning to build a lot of boards, you could order the steel stencil as well for a few more dollars and use that to solder SMD components for thousands of boards. Building time is very fast, just a couple of days. I usually receive my boards to Spain in just 8 days. So upload the Gerberts of your project to GLC PCB and order the boards for very low prices. So guys, back to our tutorial. This is the Atmega 8 chip. It has 28 pins and this is its pinout. As you can see, it's pretty much the same as the Atmega 328. So why some of you would use this chip instead of the well-known 328? Well, probably the price. I've bought 10 of these Atmega chips for only $8, that is 80 cents per chip. I've also found the SMD version of this chip for only 50 cents. Ok, so the chip has SPA port and also an I2C and WART, as we can see here. It has 13 digital I.O. pins and 5 analog inputs, just as the chip used by the Arduino Uno or Nano. So the difference is interior. Here we have a table with the memory and blocks of the Atmega 8 in comparison with other AVR controllers. It has less PWM pins, way less external interrupts and less memory. So how can we use this IC? We have two options. Write the C code, create an hexadecimal file and burn it using the USB ASP programmer and some other softwares, or use the well-known Arduino IDE interface, and we will do just that. But before, the chip needs a bootloader in order to understand the code that we send. So let's burn the bootloader. I grab one of my breadboards and place the chip in the middle. Now I make this basic configuration of this chip using a quartz 60 MHz clock with two 22 picofarads capacitors and the 10K pull-up resistor connected to the reset pin which is pin number 1. Now we need an ISP programmer, we could use the USB ISP like this one or just use the Arduino Uno. The Arduino board already has an SPA port and all we need are the MOSI, MISO and clock pins. We will use the Arduino Uno to burn the bootloader, since we will use the optiloader code and that can be done with the USB ASP. Connect the Arduino Uno like this to the Atmega chip. Now connect the USB to the Arduino and open Arduino IDE. Go below this video and download the optiloader code and open it in the Arduino platform. Now make sure you have these connections between the Arduino Uno and the Atmega 8 chip and then upload the code to the Arduino Uno. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor and set the baud rate to 19200. The bootloader for the Atmega 8 is now being burned to the chip and you will get these messages. If you get an error, type G and press enter to try again. 
And that's it, the chip now has a new bootloader. Now we can upload codes. And for that we need to install the Atmega 8 board options of the Arduino IDE and then use an FTDA programmer like this one and with the WART port upload the sketches. So go to the link below. Select and copy the GSUN URL. Now go to the Arduino IDE, go to File and select Preferences. Now paste here the GSUN URL. If you already have other URLs placed, just add a comma and then paste the new JSON URL. So click OK and that will enable the board manager to search for the mini core boards. Now go to Tools, Board and select Board Manager. Here search for the mini core and install that board's package. Now restart Arduino IDE and now if we go to Boards we should have this Atmega board installed. Select here the Atmega 8 board and let's upload a Blink example. I now have an LED connected to digital pin 10. So let's make the LED blink. Connect the FTDA programmer like this to the wired port of the Atmega 8 chip. And make sure you add a 100 nanofarad capacitor between the DTR and reset pins. I make sure I have the correct board selected and the correct COM of the programmer and I press upload. So there we have it, the LED is now blinking and I could upload any other code, always having in mind the restriction of this chip. Since the pinout is compatible I could even put this chip on an Arduino Uno board and it will work and I could upload codes using the USB that the board has. So there you have it guys, it is not a difficult tutorial but I hope that you will find this useful. Now you could use this chip for your projects. In future videos we will take a look at other AVR microcontrollers or other families as well, maybe PIC or ESP. Below you will find more information about the connections for this controller and on my webpage electronoops.com. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you have learned something new. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see future videos. And also click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. And remember, if you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.